Now, what else needs to be done in this prison? Let's take a look. How are our prisoners faring? I mean, I know they did riot, but to be honest, that's almost our fault because we did give them the perfect way to escape the prison. So, let's see, prisoners. We've got four. High risk, closed. What? Normal risk, open. Low risk, closed. I don't know what that means. Um, regime and needs. Oh, you need a psychologist to find out what their needs are. So until then, uh, I guess we just check their regime and see what they're doing. They're probably hungry, though. And at the moment, they've got a lot of time that's just not assigned to anything. So once we know what they're doing, we'll, uh, we'll assign them. Actually, I'm going to give these prisoners some high-quality meals. So meal quantity, high, and meal variety, high. So, you know, Pierre is an artist, and I want the finest part of our prison to be the food. Because Pierre is, 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 a, is a king amongst men. He's the king of the chefs. Is that right, Pierre? Oh, we, oui, I am the best chef in the world, you, you asshole. Oh, you make me work in a prison when I could be running a five Michelin star restaurant. Oh, oh, I wave my, I wave my wooden spoon at you, monsieur. I wave it, I wave it hard. Okay, so here comes the truck with uh, stuff, I guess. What's it delivering? Oh, no, it's taking garbage. That's it. What's this then? Is this a drain or is it... Because this drain is is in a weird position compared to the other ones. It's a bit weird. I think the shower works. I think everything works. Now, what does this guy want? He wants a shower. Well, why don't you go and have a shower then? There's a shower over here. If I just keep the... Uh, oh. I'll keep this door open so these guys can go and have a shower whenever they want. Although, maybe they can't have a shower because the regime says they're not allowed to yet. What time is it now? It's just coming up to half four in the evening. So I'm going to say at five, these guys can have a shower. And at six. And then at seven, it's free time. Wait, free time, free time at seven. There we go. So when it comes up to five, these guys should make a beeline for the shower. And we'll be able to see if it actually works or not. Now, what else? These guys are bored. Well, I guess they can have some fun in the shower if uh, if they really want to. They can play some beach volleyball or something. Our holding cells aren't seeing much action at the moment, but that's fine. We haven't really got any more prisoners coming down. Oh, looks like Pierre is taking a delivery of eggs. Or maybe that's his assistant, Mario. Yeah, the kitchen is bustling. They've got plenty of ingredients in there. And they've got plenty of space to make food. The prisoners are having fun in the yard. They're all slowly going up in health, actually. That's pretty cool. But as soon as... Oh, 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 that's right. Yeah, I was building a med bay. So let's just pause the game and put down a door for that. Now, are we going to use a jail door for the med bay? I think we should, yeah, because we're going to have criminal scum in here. And we need to make sure they don't escape. So I'll put a jail door there. And that should complete the room. Let's just watch the guard. Oh, so it's five o'clock now. And that's shower time, as it says there underneath the clock. So are these guys going to go to the shower? Yep, the guard lets them out of the uh, the yard. And they should be going towards the shower now. You can let the other guys out as well, guard, if you please. There we go. Now they're slowly walking towards the shower. Yay! It's bubbly bathtub time. Yay! Singing in the bath. Oh! Oh, I say. I'm going to move away from here if all those prisoners are going to get naked. Okay, so this guy's putting in a door for the medical bay. Now this should become a building, and it has. Yay! So we'll go to rooms and select... Is, is medical ward here? Execution, workshop, storage. Wait, infirmary? We can't build one yet because... Oh, our dude, our, our dude, Richard Heath, has not yet finished reading up about health. So let's see. Two hours to go until we can put down our doctors and our medical ward. I think we can probably put down the objects required for the medical ward, though, in the meantime. So let's find the medical beds. There we go. And we'll plonk a couple of these down inside here. There we go. I think that'll be plenty. Four beds. It's more than adequate. Now let's keep a look. Uh, keep, keep an eye on our, our funds at the moment. We've got in the bank $37,000. Oh, oh, action, action stations. Trouble in the shower. Trouble in the shower. Oh, oh. Somebody's swearing in the shower. What's going on? Oh, the shower head's damaged. 
Are these guys having trouble because it's flooding? What's the problem? Well, it looks like it's just this prisoner that has misbehaved. So this guard should be able to now escort him to either his cell or solitary confinement. This guard's come to escort this troublemaker too. Mr. Shadil Cyber. Or not, actually. He's just walked away. Okay. Right, so let's double check and see what's going on with our prison. There's still another hour to go until we research medical health. There we go. You can see it ticking down there. And as soon as we can, as soon as we have that medical ward in place, we can get the doctors. They can heal the guards and we can start to worry about the next prisoners, which should be arriving in, oh, only 13 hours. Now, incident reports. Six people require medical attention and one prisoner is in lockdown. Which one is that? I think that's probably this guy down here. Now we're going to need these engineers to repair the shower heads. Oh, they have. Good job. Now, are these drains working? I think they are. Now, our prisoners are really unruly at the moment. I think that's probably a mix between us keeping them locked up in uh, in the cells. So when they, when they were hungry, they couldn't eat. When they were tired, they couldn't sleep. Or, well, they could because they had beds. But, you know, when they were dirty, they couldn't shower. So they haven't been able to do what they wanted to do. And so they're a bit unruly for the time being. So we need to make sure that these guys have a better time of it over the next few days. And I think key to that is making sure they're not injured. Because at the moment, some of them are still bleeding all over the floor. So have we researched health yet? Yes, we have. Okay, sweet. So we're going into rooms and infirmary. Locked. What? No, it's not locked. What are you talking about? It's... It, it, where's the warden gone? There he is. Okay. And he's he's done, he's not he's not reading. So he he's completed this. Let's see. Health unlocks the doctor. Oh wait, so we need to unlock something else to build the infirmary? Maintenance? No. Psychologist? No. That's weird. What do we need to unlock to get the uh the infirmary, then? That's strange. Maybe we can build it now. Rooms. Infirmary requires indoors and medical bed. But when I click on it, I cannot build one. That's strange. Let's wait an hour and see if in, in about 50 minutes we can build one, because it might just be a bit bugged at the moment. Remember, the prison architect is still in alpha, so all the bugs you see in the game are kind of to be expected because it's, it's not a finished game. Right, so Susak is injured and bored inside his cell, but it's fine because he's not rioting. This guy is also bored and oh, he's going to go for a sleep. Good job. Sleeps on his front. Okay. Why do the guards want to hang around out there? That's so weird. Come back in here, dude. Seriously. That's right. Yeah, get in here. Uh, for some reason... These prisoners are... Oh, they're unconscious. And they're lying in the medical bed. Oh, we need to power this this medical ward, actually. That's a good point. So we're going to utilities. And we'll bring some electrical cable over from this nearby electrical cable. And now our workers should get installing that ASAP. Now, I think we also really do need a room for storing... Uh, utility stuff, like um, all the deliveries, like cable and stuff. So I'll put down some foundations for a storage building up here in the corner of the prison. Seems like a good place. There we go. And this requires an entrance. Oh, why is it, why is it not building walls here? Actually, we might have to put those in manually. But the entrance will... Oh, is it going to be a jail door? Yeah, I think it should be because this is where things are going to get stored. And if we don't have a secure door on there, then any old uh, any old loser, any old prisoner could just walk in and take something that could potentially be a weapon. Like, what if a prisoner gets his hands on a brick and throws that brick at Pierre? And, oh, Pierre will be not a happy chappy. Okay, so this guy is injured and he's chilling out in the bed as well. But we haven't got any doctors, so these guys can't get any medical attention. That's pretty bad. And um, remember, we've got prisoners arriving in 11 hours. And that will come around sooner than you think. Okay, these, these prisoners, what are they doing? 
Doesn't say. We need to unlock psychology so we can know what these prisoners' needs are specifically. Now the guards let them in the, into the canteen. And we should probably get this guard that isn't injured over to the canteen. Oh! Oh! There's a fight in the canteen! What's going on? Calm it, is Isper. Isper. Oh no! He's wrecking the food tables! Oh my, he, he one-shot those. 100% damage because they got punched once by a prisoner. That's insane. My prisoners are spending all their time in... Oh my god, what's going on here? Uh, guys? What are you doing? Stop it! Stop it at once, you, you crazy guy. Ah, oh, these workers are just not playing ball today, it seems. Open locked door. Oh, we need a guard up here to open this locked door. Or do they just need me? Can I open it by right-clicking? Is that how it works? Either way, the cables have gone in place now, and this room has power. Yay! Now, can I make it a medical ward yet? Has this unbugged? No, it still hasn't. Infirmary is still locked by bureaucracy. Well, okay, let's, let's get Charles researching something else anyway, because he might as well. Mental health seems like the next good one, because then we can get the health and well-being grant. And I think I can hire doctors now anyway. This room doesn't really need to be a medical ward because I can hire the doctors, so... Oh, it exceeds daily budget. Oh no, we're gonna have to get rid of somebody. I think we're gonna fire one or two of these workers because we really don't need this many. So we'll sack you. We'll sack you. And I'm sorry, my friend, but we're gonna sack you too. And... How many doctors can we afford now? I think probably two. So we'll put a couple in here. Oh yeah, look at those syringes. They're getting pumped full of the good stuff, the green stuff. Oh, green nuke. Oh wow, and they bend over to take the uh, take the injections as well. That's nice. Okay, Frasier. He's full of health. And so is this guard now as well. Sweet. So now we can get the injured guards to go up there as well and get their health replenished too. So you, guard, report to sickbay at once. And also, where are the other injured guards? That guy's fine. This prisoner is unconscious. Oh no, we'll get this guard to escort that prisoner to medical bay. Oh no, wait, this guard's already doing it. Okay, cool. Well, we'll send... Oh, this guard's injured, so he needs to have a bit of a lie down in the medical bed. And who else is injured? Oh yeah, look at this. This is weird. Since I put a building next to this fence, it already thought that the fences were walls. And didn't put any walls down, so I'm going to have to fix that, because that looks ugly as hell. I'll put a wall across there, and a wall down there. And I'll make this room a... where is it? Storage room, that's right. So now, whenever we have surplus stuff, like extra doors, stuff lying around, the workers can come up there and just plonk it down as storage. Got a couple of prisoners in here having food. They look fine. Yeah, and I think everything's going pretty well at the moment. We've had a few accidents, and there's blood everywhere. But, oh my god. Oh my god, what happened in this cell? Jesus, that guy was probably a bit more than unconscious. I hope he pulls through. Can prisoners die? I think they might be able to die, actually. That's a bit of a worry. What's he doing in there? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Guard, search that prisoner, because he's just been in the kitchen, and... Yeah, I don't trust him. He might have a spoon on himself, or a knife, or a spatula, and all of those are lethal weapons. Searching the prisoner. You find anything, guard? Anything? Make sure you give him a thorough search. No crevice left untouched. I guess he didn't find anything. Yeah. Oh, and now he's going for a poo. So I see, one of the new things to this version of Prison Architect is that guards have to open up cell doors for people that want to cross them. That's a pretty cool mechanic as well, actually, because I... Ooh, we've got a lot of guards just guarding the deliveries zone. And they're not really needed in there, so I'm going to bring the guards out of there. And I'm going to post a couple by the cells here, because... This is where the prisoners are at the moment, and that's the danger zone. Now, we've got two prisoners, and two escaped. Well, no, four escaped. So what does that mean? Do we, um, do we fail anything? I, I, I haven't got any written notification or fine 
so far from having escaped prisoners, and I don't think it happened when they did escape, so that's weird. Meanwhile, this guard is guarding the holding cell, and that's also useless because there's no no nobody in there, so 